Welcome back to the Ancoods. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this new electric kettle that I bought. Um, I'll put a link down below if you are interested. I wanted to kind of compare them to see what's the difference between my old, old gas one, or stove one, and this one to see which one's actually better. Again, this one just plugs right into the wall. Alright, I filled both of these with four cups of water, so it's equal amount of water. And then we will see. Okay, for this one, let's turn the stove on high. This one, all you have to do is flip the flip the switch. It actually lights up a pretty color as well. The nice thing with this, it actually turns off when it's done. In case you forget, now this one is a whistling teapot, so we'll see how it goes. But we'll video. This one's already starting to boil. See the bubbles in there? And this is an electric stove, so it does take the same, same electricity as the electric pot. see my stove cooking there. I have really bad burners. <laughs> That's what the smoke is from. Alright, this is actual time, so we'll see how long this takes. Now I have already used this teapot. I absolutely love it. I just wanted to kind of do a video as a review to kind of show the comparisons. I will probably never go back to this old teapot, teapot again. This is so convenient. Now the light will shut off on the Zoe cup before it, or when it's done. Oh, pretty cool. Hmm. They were pretty. 
pretty neck and neck. Depending on how hot you like your tea, too. Shut off by itself. Not as obnoxious as this one. Is this one with the whistling? It's still whistling. Alright, we'll go ahead and take this off. And then this one just kind of calms down. But if you are forgetful and you forget that your teapot's on, I have done that in the past. This will take care of it for you. It shuts itself off. No worry about wasting more electricity. Again, I still love it. Again, they were neck and neck. I didn't really anticipate that. I thought this one would be faster. But, as you can see, if you are interested, there is a link below in the description box. I do highly recommend it. It's very, very convenient. So I did want to show you how this thing comes off. When you're done, you just... Simply lift it off the base. You can pour your tea. They do have some that have the insert. Um, if you are one to drink loose tea, you can put the loose tea right into a metal cylinder and then it'll boil it. Um, it right, it'll brew it as it's boiling. Um, this is also interest, would be really great for camping, RVs, uh, things like that. Just something to plug into an inverter if you have it or a generator. So the small burner on the stove uses a thousand watts. This kettle does use fifteen hundred watts, so it does take a little bit more power, considering the review that we just did, that where it's the same amount of time to boil the same amount of water. It's your really your preference, whether it's convenience or, I guess, the traditional way with the tea kettle. Um, I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Again, I really like this tea kettle. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know if you have any comments below. Thank you.